quantifying the value of monthly recurring revenue. Part 2. Profitability Many integrators have an intuitive sense that recurring revenue is a good thing. However, few actually generate any significant amount of recurring revenue. This is unfortunate on many levels, because building recurring revenue is one of the most valuable objectives you can set for your organization. Consider three quantifiable reasons you need to make this a priority. Each topic is presented in its own short video clip. The concepts in each video are super simple, but powerful because the numbers don't lie. Part 2. Profitability Smart integrators look for every possible strategy and tactic to make their sales efforts more productive and successful, but ultimately to ensure their organization is profitable. With profitability in mind, building recurring revenue must be one of those strategies. To illustrate the power that recurring revenue sales have on profitability, consider the idea of what we'll call break-even gross margin. For the purpose of our discussion, break-even gross margin simply means the level of sales margin an organization needs to earn over the course of the year to pay for all business expenses with nothing left over. Every dollar less than that amount would result in a net loss and every dollar more would produce a net profit. As shared in Part 1 of this video series, for project sales that produce one-time revenue, integrators frequently realize a margin that averages around 20%. And when they're able to sell some type of service or support agreement, locking in multiple years of service, the margin on those sales averages closer to 50%. While the specific numbers for your organization may vary from these averages, the point is there's a significant difference. Let's see why you need to take advantage of that difference. Assume an integrator's leadership and accounting teams determine that $800,000 is their organization's break-even gross margin for the upcoming year. If their sales team generates margin for the year below this figure, the business will experience a loss. But if they can generate margin above this amount, the business will be profitable. The break-even figure, along with the average margins attained from sales, are factors that the integrator can use to establish an annual sales objective. For our purpose, we're simply going to look at what level of sales will be necessary to reach the break-even gross margin of $800,000 under three scenarios. In Scenario 1, all sales by the integrator are one-time revenue sales. With 20% margin, we see that the integrator needs to sell $4 million in total sales over the course of the year in order to produce $800,000 in margin, which is the break-even amount identified. In Scenario 2, the integrator is able to make recurring revenue sales of about 10% with the remaining 90% being one-time revenue sales. Based on the applicable margins, this combination of sales again produces the desired $800,000 in margin needed to attain the break-even gross margin. Finally, in Scenario 3, recurring revenue sales account for about 29% of sales and the remaining 71% are one-time revenue project sales. And again, the sales produces the desired $800,000 in margin necessary to reach the break-even gross margin. There are several valuable points to recognize from these scenarios. First, it takes very little recurring revenue sales to have a meaningful impact on the $800,000 of break-even margin. As Scenario 2 illustrates, even having as little as 10% recurring revenue sales makes a sizable contribution to margin of $180,000. Well, Scenario 3 reveals that with just 29% of recurring revenue sales, the integrator is able to generate $400,000 of margin, which is one half of the amount needed to attain the break-even gross margin. Also, notice the impact of recurring revenue sales on the total sales required. The recurring revenue sales in Scenarios 2 and 3 
allow the integrator to reach the break-even gross margin with total sales that are 14% less and 30% less than all project sales of Scenario 1. Finally, let's reflect on what this illustration can mean for you. Regardless of your organization's break-even amount or sales objective, recurring revenue sales can take the pressure off of the number of sales your team needs to win. And any amount of recurring revenue sales will make it dramatically easier to attain profitability. Be sure to watch the other parts of this short video series on quantifying the value of monthly recurring revenue.